Hello all, welcome back to this old save. Serious Lee's here, and we're going to catch up on my newest normal mode save today. This is post-Sentinel update catch-up for this save. However, we are going to continue basically way back where we left off on this save, doing the uh, Awakenings Artemis mission line. We haven't done that yet. However, Something we've done in between then and now, I think we did this right before the Sentinel update, is that we went and got access to multiple galaxies with this save, even though we haven't finished that mission yet. So we have a base in Isentam, we have a base in Isidorung, Isidora, I don't know how you would say it, Galaxy 19, and that's, I think, where we are now. We're going to take a peek at that when we head out here. I have also completed the expedition. As you can see, I've got that jetpack equipped. I've gone out and done a bunch of stuff on this save already, including, check this out, almost fully, almost fully, completing my, oh yeah, look, we need six crystal sulfide, so there's that. Uh, Technology-wise, I could move the hazmat gauntlets, and that I'm definitely going to reroll. That's terrible, but I started with it from the expedition, because this is an expedition three save. Yeah, number three. Uh, yeah, so I've got three slots to play with in there. I'll move the hazmat gauntlets back out. I would like to try getting some X-Class modules for hazard protection. You can get some extra protection from just the things that more than these ones add up to. But those are good enough. This is normal mode. We don't even need what we've got. We could get by without any of these whatsoever. These C-Class ones that give 21% to each uh, thing, and then this one, uh, oh, sorry, this one up here that gives 20% to all of them. Well, no. Basically, this adds 20% to the amount of battery we have, and this reduces the damage we take by 21%, so this drains 21% slower, but it's 20% bigger. It's basically the same. I count it as the same. <laughs> Uh, yeah, we could reroll for those. We're not doing that today. In fact, let's put this... I've also started gathering some stuff to get ready for the Sentinel update on this save. We haven't done it yet, the Sentinel missions. So let's move that away. That we're going to sell. Uh, these over here I got from killing some Sentinels and opening up... Um, something glass? Salvaged glass? Something like that. Anyway... <laughs> These you get for the multi-tool, and these you get for the exosuit. The multi-tool ones are sort of... They're great if you're using a bullet caster, because they can do some really cool stuff for your bullet caster. And there are no modules for the bullet caster. It's really weird. There's a ricochet module, and that's it, basically. So it's cool that there's something for the bolt caster, but they're not really any help to us, because what we're using is, check this out, an S-Class. This took so many nanites and I am super nanite and unit poor now just doing this I had to farm a ton of modules instead of getting the money because farming the modules for uh, upgrading a multi-tool is way faster actually than farming money on a save that doesn't have access to a lot of money the save doesn't have any indium farms or anything set up yet so we're gonna get to that but what I thought might be neat is if we continue the Artemis mission line in Galaxy 19, and when we finish it, we can see what happens when we pick a lush galaxy. Will it send us to Isentam, or will it send us to the next lush galaxy in the list after 19? If so, that's super cool, and I'm going to start new saves, and I'm going to get them all to the next lush galaxy, and then progress them from there to the next lush galaxy. So I all have a list of lush galaxies on all my saves. That's the idea. That's what we're going to try over the next day or two. Oh, oh, oh. Let's see what we got up here in the space station. I don't know that I've examined all of the ones that I'm going to show you today. Yeah, we already got that, so we've already looked at everything up here then. We don't need to go and show them all the tool. I haven't found anything good. <laughs> but let's take a peek at our discoveries. Let's see what system I'm in. Okay, we have a paradise moon, red grass. I think it's got green or purple skies. And this, a paradise planet over here with white grass. These are some of the benefits of being in a lush galaxy is you find systems with double paradise planets, sometimes systems with four lush planets, two of them paradise, two of them uh, otherwise. <laughs> Still very nice though. Uh, but it's a detriment if you're trying to find interesting stuff. You have to go to like red stars to find uh, glitch planets oftentimes. Stuff like that. Okay, that's that's the moon. It looks like blue skies from here, but I'm pretty sure it isn't because we would have uh, 
we would have made a marker over there. As you can see, I've got a save beacon over there. The anomaly is there. We found something interesting over here from the Discoveries page. It looks like it's brown, but this is a white grass lush paradise planet. Unfortunately, it's got green skies and I don't like the trees too much. So I thought we'd show it off before we go anywhere, before we set up shop doing stuff. <clears throat> and then we're gonna move systems to another system I've been to recently that had a very nice red grass paradise planet. I think paradise, it's a lush anyway. Oh, sorry, no, not the anomaly. Uh, I have a, a marker down there, a save beacon, but it was just to make a manual save. We don't need to go to it. It's not marking anything in specific. In fact, let's go pick it up. So let's go to it. <laughs> uh, uh, you know what? Actually, we're a little bit low on space. We saw at the beginning here. We're not, uh, we're not managing our inventory very well yet. Something I do want to do as well is because we're in a new galaxy, I want to start my settlement off here. So we're going to show that off today for sure. And I think we're going to do that once we get to that red grass lush that I really like. We can check the moon out here too. I landed there, but I obviously didn't find very much that I liked. As you can see, especially at sunset or sunrise, it's very white grass, a little bit pink because of the sunrise, but if the sun goes down, we can turn our exosuit light on and you can see how white the grass is. Now it's not bubble grass or anything and it is short, but it's very, very nice. I'm very happy with this find. Unfortunately, for example, if we go to uh, photo mode, put the sun up here, very green sky. I don't usually mind green sky, but look how yellow it makes the grass look in contrast, especially with all those blue splotches. Not a fan of the creamy color. It's neat. It's very unique. Uh, and maybe if we had blue or purple colored or red topped trees, like bright red, that might be something interesting here, but it just doesn't speak to me. I'm like looking for a blue sky. What, what, what was that? What was that? Oh, okay. Snappy plants. Yeah, that makes sense. <laughs> so let's pick this up. I mean, I guess we could make a new manual save. I've done some stuff. <laughs> then we'll pick it up and we'll make auto saves and that'll be what we go off of from here going forward. But this is our backup on the white grass planet. All right, lickety split, let's get out of here. I've also made a couple of upgrades to the uh, ship. Not any slots. Getting, like again, I spent a lot of time getting that royal multi-tool up to max slots. Uh, I will put a link in the description, I think, for the Beeble Bum video I used to get this max slot. Well, to get this royal multi-tool in this color. Uh, the max slotting, you just gotta pay nanites to upgrade the class from C class all the way to S class. That's uh, 50,000 plus 25. It's a lot of nanites. It's something like 70 or 80,000 nanites or something crazy. And I farmed a lot of derelicts <laughs> and I've uh, processed something like 40,000 tainted metal. I still have some. Oh, do I have? No, I don't have. I have lots of living pearls, but all of my uh, crystal sulfide is gone. There, I have 6,000 tainted metal left, so we could get more nanites. We're not totally nanite broke. Uh, I also, as you can see, how many? Uh, how many derelicts did I run? We can check that. Whoops, it's in freighter. There it is right there. Uh, just over 31. I think I installed a couple of slots. If we want to count how many slots I have on that freighter, we can subtract 34 from that and that will tell me how many I wasted on our freighter. <laughs> and I say wasted because I'm probably going to ditch this thing. It is S-Class. We farmed it to get an S-Class, but that'll just make it worth a ton when we trade it in for a system freighter that's S-Class. And 31 bulkheads is enough to get a max slot system freighter. Uh, it won't get us max tech slots, but we don't need max tech slots. Oh, speaking of tech slots, in between I also got us the matter beam tech. And uh, how do we get back there? There we go. I have 10 more salvage frigate modules left over, and we need to buy the indium drive. Yeah, we need the last of the things, the A-class one that will get us to blue stars. I could build the one that gets us to... Why did I land here? What are we doing? 
Uh, yeah, this is the white grass planet uh, system. Let's just take the system teleporter. Instead of warping, I don't know how many warps it was between systems before I found this place. It might have just been one. We're going to have to check the discoveries menu. I know it's not this one. It's tempting to look, but I know it's not the one. Okay, it wasn't Hamoto. This is a very nice uh, green, 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 green planet. It's no water, but it's all green grass, green trees, and green sky. If you like that sort of thing. Uh, this has got to be the one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's got the rings. We're going to Belgi in the Uranes system. Okay, off we go. Space Station Uranes Exchange. So that's the suffix for this specific randomly, uh, well not randomly, uh, procedurally generated space station is exchange. Every space station you go to will have a different, well, no, there's only a list of like 10 or 12, I don't know what they all are. Well, some of them say rendezvous, some of them say cycler, some of them say station, I think is just one of them. So when you find a space station or a system you like and you like the name there, so uh, you can choose your system name to reflect what it's going to say. Like, uh, <laughs> I thought it would be funny to name a system something that we, you would pronounce uh, by, like B-I-G-H or something, like the word hi, and then, you know, get a system that has a space station called Cycler, and then you'd have the Bicycler space station every time you went to it. <laughs> uh, I haven't done that, <laughs> but I thought it might be funny. All right, so in this system, I can't remember which way you go from the space station, I think directly behind it. No, we're going to have to go into first-person mode to find this place. Ah, no, we're not. It's right over there. Look at that. Very, very bright red grass from here. Belgi. Uh, it is going to be only 30 seconds away. Okay, great. Fuel. There we go. And uh, all the way over, I crossed my fingers just so that this would flip over to blue sky. And right about here... It should flip over. There you go. Look at that. Blue sky. I'm like, yes. <laughs> and the uh, the trees are okay. It's got bright purple splotches of grass in the red, which I think add to it very nicely. Uh, but the brightness of the red is really done justice by the blue sky on these planets with red grass. So I've been looking for one of these of my own. I know lots of people have access to them. Ooh, let's land there. It's a nice blue freighter. Look at these alien trees with blue tops and purple tops and all sorts of cool stuff here. I am definitely loving this planet. Uh, the grass isn't bubble grass or anything like that. It's nothing super duper cool. It's just something I've been looking for for myself for a long time. Sometimes I think it's nice to be able to see a ringed planet in the sky when you look up, but getting to see the rings of your own planet is also pretty cool. Uh, my first normal save, my main legacy save, has that for its home planet at the core of Euclid. But let's set up in Galaxy 19 here. Oh, whoa, some textures just loaded in. I saw that. That's pretty cool, though. These crash traders are pretty amazing. All right, so what we're going to do, as I said earlier, we're going to go to the log. <clears throat> we're going to go to a planet in distress. And as you can see, we've got this little symbol right here swirly galaxy symbol and if you read warning mission out of range hold for me middle mouse button to restart mission and use nearby structures so we're on this planet hopefully it'll find a settlement here oh uh, actually I didn't mean to back out you have to do it while on the mission uh, here there you go boom mission restarted incoming message so let's head back to our ship I mean, we could take a look on our radar and see if we see our marker. We should have a marker. No? Oh, answer the communicator by pressing X. Uh, we have to be in our starship, I guess. <laughs> there we go. X, communicator. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I haven't learned that many words yet. We're going to learn a lot of Viking words because we're picking a Viking system again. Input distress signal coordinates. So we don't even need to use that map I showed, in theory. Investigate the planetary distress signal. Okay. Uh, reach the source appears to be planet side. Yeah, I am planet side. 
Oh no, it picked the wrong planet for us. So, what I'm going to do is reload at that autosave and not have reset my mission there. I'm going to do this later. We're going to get on board with resetting our Artemis mission line for Galaxy 19. That's the main thing for today. Uh, if there's time later, we can worry about this, but I just don't want my mission to be for a planet I don't want my settlement on. I'd love it to be on that red grass, blue sky planet. And we can do that. I'm tempted to try to just do it now. I haven't done any testing on this. So I don't know how easy it would be. I tried, I tested this out on the white grass planet and it works like you just start on the white grass planet. If you reset your mission there, you get a settlement on the white grass planet. It's great. I just didn't want that compared to this. I thought it was really nice. Good contrast between sky and earth. Good color mixes, bright colors. I was very happy with it. We are going to do it, but it was sending us over to this planet, so I want to see something. Yeah, I think what we're going to have to do is accept the mission, go to the settlement over there, finish it, accept the settlement, and use a settlement map to go move our settlement to the red grass planet. I think that's what's going to have to happen. I'm going to give that a try. Not now, some other time. So, what we're going to do is call in the anomaly. And you see we have a mission marker there. Bring Artemis to Nada. A copy of Artemis has been stored in the mind arc. That's where we left off. So, ooh, sorry, uh, fleet. Uh, okay. We should have probably crashed, but we didn't. <laughs> and I don't mean the game, I mean the ship. We just flew right through a giant freighter. But that's okay. It's okay. We're fine. Oh, hey, the weekend mission. Nah, it was terrible. I'm not doing it on this save this week. <laughs> uh, yeah, we got 6,600 Quicksilver on this save, and we can unlock a bunch of stuff that we have unlocked on all our other saves. So we don't really need the Quicksilver. I'm not in a, I'm not in a rush to get it. Look at all those Quicksilver missions built up. Um, yeah. All right, let's just go do it. We can hand in stuff. We can get some stuff. I can get my derelict freighter receiver, I bet. But uh, get some nanites for milestones, etc. But let's just do this mission. Let's reveal the mind arc. Uh, ask for help. I'm not going to ask why. Can't have a body again. And again, I'm going to go through this pretty quick. I was saying this on permadeath. Uh, I've done these missions before. This is not about, you know, going through it, you know, for the lore. Specifically, I'm not going to read them all out loud. We're just going to go a lickety split through most of this stuff, except for me interrupting myself by talking. Uh, is there another way? I guess that's delaying us. There's no other way. Okay, I've decided. Go and speak to Polo, though. Okay, Polo, though. What do you have to say, though? Specialist Polo. Alright, I had to say something. Now we need to go to the back of the anomaly past uh, Shark Boy here. Oh no, Shark Boy is not up there. Shark Boy gives us uh, stuff, upgrades. Now we have to go to here, right? The first traveler. Wait, wait, wait. What am I not reading? Mission is in another system. Uh, log. What are we doing? Uh, no, planet in distress. No. At private terminal. Okay. Well, it says mission is mission is another system. It's not letting me reset. So because we we reset the mission here, we talked to Polo in this system. I'm assuming it's going to give us a local source. We'll check when we get into space. We'll also double check that we are in. Oh, I'm stuck on this balcony again, even without lag. Maybe that balcony has had some issues. Loving this new jetpack. I kept the bubble trail on the save. I like the bubble trail still. I think it goes with the exotic theme more than the uh, glitch trail. But we'll, you know, maybe we'll change our minds. Okay, so we need to hit the galaxy map, right? Or are we going to get hailed here? No, consult the galaxy map. Okay, okay. 
Uh, we have a green line, and yeah, Galactic Core is Dorai Young, or is Dorai Jung? I don't know. Oh, it is sending us pretty far away, though. I don't know that that is even the final destination system. So, what I'll, hmm, let's try and reset the mission. Let's go to disco uh, here. Can we reset this mission? No, holding down the middle mouse button is not doing anything. Well, that's a bit of an issue then, because I don't know how far it's going to make us travel to get to where we need to be. Let's give it a couple warps. Let's do some exploring, right? Uh, I need a lot of suit slots on the save still. I don't have very much money, and they cost a million a piece now, but I need a lot of suit slots. <laughs> so, yeah, let's do some warping. Let's see what happens. We're going to warp as far as our green line takes us each time, and we'll stop at a space station there and get a suit slot, right? And maybe we'll get a final destination today. And if not, we'll get to explore the nice, lush Galaxy 19. We'll see what happens eventually if I can find uh, the end of this rainbow. I thought it would be a lot easier to do both of these things, <laughs> to both reset the settlement mission, uh, which we did do. You know, that was pretty obvious. That was pretty simple. Oh, freighter battle, huh? Ooh, look at that nice green space station. Diamond shape. Um, wrong button. I clicked instead of clacked. Also upgraded the Positron Ejector on this thing, so it's pretty much a one-shot kill no matter how many uh, modules hit from how far away. Oh, uh, well, I spoke too soon because one of each of those ships got away. <laughs> I haven't put all six upgrades on this thing yet, so we can do even more damage. All right, that's this thing saved. Hostile ships defeated. Yeah, let's talk to the captain just by hail for a second. Corvax system it sent us to. Neat, okay. And what do we got? Something buzzed at me. No? Okay, all right. I noticed I haven't set a timer, <laughs> so that was a mistake. We can go check out the space station. Uh, we should do that first, but I want to see something I'm really curious about. Oh, milestone complete. Okay, we have a green line still, so we're not at our final destination. What was the milestone? You're right. Yeah, I know. I've done this. I have a freighter. <laughs> Is it because I'm in a new galaxy? Maybe. Maybe that's why. Okay, let's go back to the map. Let's see how far our mission marker is pointing us. Oh, hey, look, I do have, oh no, that's pointing in a different direction. Off this way, what's this? Oh, that's the galactic core, I bet. Let's switch, yeah, galactic core, okay. Hmm. So I think we should just, for our next one, for our next warp, we're gonna check the space station here, like I said, for our next warp, we're just gonna go as far as we can in that general direction. However many, I think it's nearly 2,000 light years we can go on this thing. I have not finished all of the pulse, uh, sorry, the warp drive upgrades. We have, uh, I haven't re-rolled any of these either. I've just installed them actually to get us, um, this is the only one I got. <laughs> this one came from the expedition. This one came from um, a scrapped ship. We need a suit slot, so let's go buy that. And at our limit range, because we're not going to the exact destination that it's prescribing us to go to, we can go to a three-star economy, probably get a better uh, chance at good multi-tools, etc. Although with that S class, ooh, yeah, A class, but it's a two-star economy. It might take a while to find an S class cabinet here. All right, nothing to write home about in this Corvax system. Let's move along, see if we can find that with one more far distance warp, buy another suit slot, and continue on 
if we can't figure out what's going on with this um, Artemis mission, I might have to go back to another galaxy, unfortunately. Maybe this plan is uh, going to have to be scrapped, but I'm hoping there's a way to finish this mission in this galaxy. Hey, well, not every system is a winner. <laughs> we have a dead planet behind that one. All right. So, we, at least we have a mission marker. That's the important objective. So let's line our planet up with that final planet that's showing and go as far as we can. Can we go this far? Yeah, we can go that far. We can go 1800. We can't go 1900, so somewhere around here. There, there is a three-star economy Viking system. We'll hit that up. We can check our mission objective once again, once we warp in. We shouldn't have another freighter battle. We just finished one. Okay. First contact, four planets. Got orange sky over there. Is that a lush or a radioactive? It's a hot planet, okay. That's an interesting one over there. <clears throat> might be a volcano. Also, it might not just be a regular orange sky planet. Azure. Uh, I think that's just a unusual planet. Oh, paradise planet. Uh, red or orange sky, though. Can't see what color grass. Where's number four? Oh, right behind us. This big one we haven't looked at yet. A flourishing planet. See a paradise and a flourishing. Even if we don't like the colors, it's interesting, right? All right, we'll head to this. We will quickly check the galactic map for our mission. Yeah, we still got a ways to go. We came from that direction, it looks like. No, we went further than that. Why is it? Oh, that's the core. Where did we come from? We don't have a line where we came from. Interesting. Interesting stuff. Okay. <laughs> Still don't seem to have a final destination marker over there. All right. So we're going to ignore that. We're going to get our suit slot and we'll call it there for today. Just some exploring of Isadora Young. Isadora Young. I don't know how you say it. It's got a lot of letters. But I would like to try to get to the next Lush Galaxy through cheesy methods, <laughs> because it sure beats traveling there one galaxy at a time. Even though that's not too time consuming, to be frank, that's, that's not too, too arduous. It's way easier than it used to be, let's put it that way. Thanks to their portal interference being removed patch, that's, that's been pretty much eliminated as a problem a thing to do. C-Class, we don't really have to look for that. Let's grab some nanites though, may as well game is running nice and smooth for me today. Don't know why that is, <laughs> but I'm going to take it while we have it. Ah, I thought it was an, uh, not an explorer, but an exotic. Interesting, very bright orange. I very like that. Uh, I don't really like orange too much, but it's nice. It's neat. Not too much a fan of those diagonal engine pods, though, unfortunately. And I'm not really in the mood for an explorer. I've got a perfect exotic with super tech in it. Let's get our nanites on this side. Oh, looks like we got a free word as well. More Viking. <laughs> Viking word for high. Cool. All right, let's make a save. I got a lot of shuttles here, that's for sure. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna try and continue warping on to see if we get anywhere with this, uh, you know, idea that I had. And if not, what we're gonna do next time is postpone this idea of completing the Artemis missions, it's not a big deal. We're, we're already in a nice galaxy. We don't need to complete those anymore for travel purposes. 
Uh, we'll just continue on updating with the Sentinel save. I've, as we saw, already bought that upgrade for the, oh yes, the operator's not here, uh, for the Minotaur. I have the Minotaur unlocked. I don't think I've installed anything on it though, so we need to do some Minotaur upgrading. So we'll do that next time if I can't find Artemis <laughs> or uh, uh, who we're looking for, Null. If I can't find Null, we'll upgrade the Minotaur. But until next time, everybody, have a good time. <laughs>